Hello, hello, and welcome back to another community update, another Novosphere community update. Uh, lots to cover, much, um, kind of the same things, uh, you know, with the trying to get discussions to out. But I'll hand over to uh, Fix to kind of give a rundown of what's going on, and then uh, I'll cover anything from there. And Asphyxia will pick up any of the technical updates that uh, might need to be addressed. So, take it away, Fix. Hey guys, uh, so just covering for Brian here a little bit. Um, he published the financial document for the quarter. So there's a lot of stuff in there you guys can look at. Um, pretty straightforward, but you know, just kind of shows what we've been spending our money on uh, and how we're set up in the future. Uh, things are pretty good. Obviously big expenses involved getting the foundation set up and onboarding some uh, new front end people. Um, so the next kind of quarter our big expenses will be involved with getting uh ammos listed on some bigger exchanges so um you know that'll, that'll probably be our major outlay uh, and then also continue the expenses uh, in terms of the uh, front end work um and associated with discussions too uh and in terms of the um the exchange listing process uh we've kind of narrowed it down uh, to a to a couple good candidates in a, in a sense we have you know kind of two buckets some are sort of um, the the exchanges that don't charge a listing fee but they're obviously you know well known and harder to get on to um, and that's you know Bitrix International for example just uh, just announced that they're they're going to be listing EOS or they just listed EOS um, which opens the possibilities of getting listed as a EOS token on Bitrix International. Um, and so we are going to be pursuing a listing there. And that is in, in kind of parallel to any other uh, listing activities we've already started the process on. Um, no real updates yet, but uh, things are in the works. Uh, you know, both, both from a negotiation standpoint and just kind of the narrowing down of like, what's our best bang for our buck? So uh, I think that's all I've got. Uh, on my end mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah so we are looking at also uh more eos based exchanges i think right now what we're gonna what we're focusing what's the most important thing for us to focus on is getting discussions to out um which involves the staking system adding adding some extra uh, kind of reasons why people will want to buy and stake atmos that's going to drive the volume up and that's one of the things that we are a bit lacking which is you know the token volume is not as where we want to be and a lot of these exchanges do expect you to have at least like a reasonable reasonable amount of tokens so getting discussions to out getting the staking system out driving out token value uh, and token volume as long as value uh, that's going to be the next step after discussions too so Right, so um, Asphyxia, you got anything to update us on in terms of the technical developments? Yeah, sure. So I can give a general idea of like where things are at. Um, so right now we're projecting that we will have uh, an open beta for people uh, sometime near the ending days of this month. Mm -hmm. um, and so that means that anyone who's interested in helping us test discussions to uh, we'll be able to uh, participate in that. Um, one of the biggest changes I think that we are making uh, with discussions too that I'm not sure has been really talked about before is uh, how we're making some changes to the anonymous ID from 1.0. Mm -hmm. So it's been covered before that the anonymous ID now being called just your discussions ID Mm -hmm. uh, is something that will be required for all accounts. And so we, we mentioned before in 1.0, one of our main goals was to reduce the second class citizenship of having an EOS account and versus not having an EOS account. So we want, we want to make sure that in discussions to uh, people who don't like uh, have an EOS account or they don't know anything about EOS, they're able to use the platform fully without uh, ever having to per se expose themselves to EOS and you know the, the learning curve that comes uh, with the EOS blockchain. And so one of the ways that we're doing that is uh, instead of representing the discussion ID by a private key public key, like the way it's currently being done, 
uh, we're actually looking at representing it via BrainKey, which is very similar to what Steam and a few other uh, platforms do. And so this actually gives us some nice flexibility in terms of uh, what we can do with that, because what it means is that um, when we expand out to cross-chain, and so what I mean by cross-chain is allowing uh, users to post data on any other chain uh, that's non-EO, so that could be, for example, like um, Ethereum or Bitcoin Cash or you know pretty much any other chain that we can interop into the system, um, users would be able to receive and send tokens uh, from that chain because uh, private keys could be derived uh, from that brain key. So we have put a lot of uh, planning into this and it's really starting to uh, come together now. Uh, in terms of uh, what's going on behind the scenes. So like I've said before, I'm really uh, excited and optimistic to uh, see uh, where Discussions to goes in terms of uh, its success, because 1.0 was uh, fairly successful by our, our metrics. But uh, as Jack has talked about before, 1.0 was at best, you know, a proof of concept uh in terms of really fleshing out and seeing how you know feasible all of this stuff really is mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yeah um i think what what if i had to like summarize what we've done so far which is the last half year we kind of experimented with a lot of different stuff and you know discussions is kind of like this uh offshoot of what we're doing and you know, we, we put some energy into it and then we saw it de start developing and people were taking interest in the project. But uh, now it has gotten to the point where the code base for it um, can't really support the long-term growth and development of the project. So we are rebuilding the code base, we're rebuilding the front end, getting ready, laying the foundations to really expand, expand onto other blockchains as well as expand into a bigger user base. So I'm really excited. I, I we I'm gonna put out another update uh, sometimes tomorrow, uh, to kind of give you guys in in writing what we have uh, coming up for discussions too, which is a bunch of very very exciting stuff. Yeah, everything you said there is entirely. Uh, and when discussions to launches uh, shortly after that, that's basically when we'll be looking to start staking. Uh, staking will initially start off as a proof of authority system. So when, when we're in the proof of authority stage, it is uh, non-interactive. So all that means is if you participate in staking, you just need to lock up your uh, Atmos via our contract. Um, and you don't actually need to run any software yourself. But then once we transition to proof of stake, uh, that will require um, people participating in staking to additionally run a piece of software on their computer like they've had to do in the past uh, to participate in staking and that will allow them to uh, receive uh, some of the staking rewards associated with the system so there's a there's a lot that's just around the corner um it's not too far off mm -hmm. exactly okay well i think that's everything for me uh fix do you have anything to add no i think that's good guys thanks for the update uh i think you covered everything that um, was on my mind so okay so uh, i'm just gonna end the recording here but we again we are gonna stay and uh kind of just chat um yeah if there's nothing again this vid video will go out today and then we i have a written update i think that's gonna give more detail in terms of what we're working on um out tomorrow awesome okay team out Thanks.